guys, this is Jerrica Freedom Fighter Wilson inside of Next Level Mastermind and I really wanted to start doing some women empowerment or women Wednesday videos because I realized that there are a lot of boss men out there but we need more boss women and we need more women with confidence and we need more women you know to be motivated and go out there and get it so um, I want to start this series I want to try and do it every Wednesday or well, definitely want to try and do it every Wednesday um, so I went to the event this past weekend in Atlanta for my team and it was so life changing to me and I just feel so amazing. So I need to do this stuff now. <laughs> Today's video is going to be on the topic of social, social media influence and pressure. And I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible. Uh, but just a little bit about me. My name is Jerrica. I am 24 years old and I am... I am self-employed. I work my own business from home and I travel and I get paid to travel and I'm helping other people do the same and part of doing that is building people up and I really want to focus on doing that because that's just where my heart is right now. So today's video, like I said, is going to be on social media influence and pressure. So, so many of us women, you know, we watch YouTube, we, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, most of Instagram though because Instagram is all pictures. So it's, you know, it's easier to see things and watch things on Instagram. Um, but if you're like me, you're a girl and you, you like fashion and you like makeup and you like shoes. So you follow all these pages and all these um, clothing lines and um, your favorite artists, like your favorite singers, your favorite reality stars. And, you know, you watch these shows on TV and... You know, you follow these shows and you watch these so shows out of excitement because you look up to these people. But then what, what usually happens, if you're honest with yourself, is you start comparing yourself to these women that we see on TV, on Instagram, all this other kind of stuff. We start comparing ourselves and we're like, I wish I had their life. And I wish I had that face. I wish I had that body. I wish I had those boobs. Like, we start comparing ourselves to the women that we see on TV. Um, it starts off small at first, you know, well maybe I, why don't I have that life? You know, we, we get to the point where we like, we're like starting to look down on our own selves. Or we'll see other people our age that have more than us and we start feeling like, why don't I have that yet? Like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with my life? Why is my life so horrible? Why is my life so bad? And it gets to the point where you start having a midlife crisis and you, have, you haven't even reached your midlife yet. You grow up and you struggle and you wonder why you struggle and you wonder why you feel bad about yourself um, and then you see these pictures on Instagram of other people whose lives that you think is better and you think they look better and you feel like they have the life and you don't have the life and you really start to feel bad about yourself. That happened to me. I, I never had so good self-confidence. I always felt ugly. I always felt lesser than everyone. I, I swear it didn't matter who I, I went around. I always felt like I was below them. And I always felt like I would never be as good as anyone else. And it is a horrible, it, it's a horrible situation to be in. It is a, it's the worst feeling imaginable to feel like every time you go around a group of people that you're not as good as them or they're better than you and you'll never be as good as them and you'll never amount to anything. That is the worst thing you can tell yourself and I get really emotional just thinking about it because I know how I felt in that situation and it really it really is the worst to feel like you're not good enough, to feel like you're horrible, to feel like you'll never get anywhere and to constantly look at other people's lives and think that they're they're better than you and their life is better because I didn't I didn't get to go to college I, I didn't have that option so I always felt like a failure when I graduated when I was 18 I'm like what am I gonna do with my life where am I gonna be like what am I supposed to do because I our parents could afford for us to go to college it's, it's just what it was and we could have taken out loans but the loans to be stuck to start off life in debt when you graduate I, I didn't want to start my life off, I didn't want to start off my career being in debt and having $500 a month loans to pay back. 
I didn't want to do that. So I'm like, well, if I can't get a grant or a scholarship or anything, then I'm just not going to do it. And anyone that knows me personally know my, my dad was very strict. Uh, we grew up very sheltered. And we didn't get to do much that other kids got to do. We didn't get to really... We didn't really get to do much that other regular teenagers got to do, which is a good and bad thing. Good thing because we didn't, we weren't wild and we weren't doing the things that other people were doing. But we also, it also sheltered me mentally. And when I did move out, I was kind of like homesick because I didn't know anything about being on my own at all. Because you you grow up depending on your parents, and you just you don't know what to do when you move out. So. All these things have something to do with your mental state of mind and when you add social media into that it makes it so much worse so what I'm saying ladies and gentlemen if you're watching this because gentlemen struggle with self-confidence just like women do um, I don't know if this is if it's as bad but men also follow these these things on Instagram and Facebook and they see these men and they also start to feel you know less than by watch by looking at this stuff all I have to say is, if you struggle with this, what I want you to do is separate yourself from social media, separate yourself from TV and magazines. Whatever you're doing, if it is making you feel less than a person, stop doing it. We only know what they put on social media. We only know and see what they put on TV. We only see in magazines what's been photoshopped. Anytime you see these pictures, they are photoshopped. There's no need for you to feel less of a person over a picture. There's no need because these pictures are retouched and those celebrities that we see, they do not look like that in real life. If you met them in real life, you'd be like, wow, you're just like me. Why, why am I feeling so bad about myself when you're just like me? God made us individuals. He made us who we were. Beauty is on the inside. The inside. Beauty is your heart. Beauty is your mind. Beauty is your spirit. It is not your outward appearance. It is not how skinny you are. It is not how big your boobs or your butt is. It is not how tan you are. It is not how perfect your skin is. It is not how big your lips are. It is not how perfect your eyebrows are. It is you on the inside. So stop comparing yourselves to other people, to celebrities, to magazine pictures, to people on Instagram. Dig deep and write down the things that you love about yourself and Say those things every morning. The things that you don't feel yet, because I, I really believe affirmations work. And write down who you want to be. Like, I am beautiful. I am successful. Say it every day. Say it when you wake up in the morning. Say it before you go to bed. Do it every day for 30 days. And start to see your subconscious pick up on it. Start to see how you feel. Put emotion behind it. Cry if you need to. But start saying what it is that you want to see in your life and you will see it speak things that is not as though they were i know i probably screwed that up but you guys get the point speak things that you want into your life start claiming things claim what it is that you want and and put a plan together and go after it visualize it say it believe it and work because whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life you can do it Stop comparing your life to other people's lives because you don't know their story. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what they had to do to get to where they are because you don't know that side. All you see is your life where it is and their life where it is. And you get so upset and confused and you start, feel, start to feel down. So focus, stop worrying about other people and focus on your life. Make changes. And I say this because so many women are so hateful to each other. It's so, I see so many women on social media just downing each other all the time, all the time. And it's so sad because all of us as women, we all have insecurities. We all have insecurities. I don't care how perfect you think you are, you have some kind of insecurity somewhere. So, Let's just start lifting each other up. We are all beautiful. So let's stop talk, putting each other down. And oh, that just brings me to another point. The music today. The rap music today. The music videos today. All it is is about women and drugs and sex. That is all you hear every day. And that's why 
when I go out to the club with my friends sometimes, I feel like the oddball. When I say I feel like the oddball, like, I feel like I came from the country somewhere because some of these rap music that everybody's like, hey, I'm like, what? What is this song? Who made this? What? Sips tea. <laughs> like, I don't know this song and I don't know the words. I don't know who this artist is. I don't know anything about this person. And I don't know. I hate rap music because it's so, it, it makes it, the way that it objectifies women, it just makes women seem like we're a piece of meat and it makes women out to be and it, it makes women who are growing up like people that is in seventh and eighth grade now that's when you first really hit your teens and you really start to identify who you are as a woman and all these songs in the world today are make you feel like an object so they feel like they have to get boob implants they feel like they have to get butt injections they feel like they have to be naked because all these songs that these men talking about in songs is women twerking and being naked and having sex with as many women and men as you can and you grow up hearing this and you think that that's what you have to do to get a good man and you feel like that if you don't do that you won't get a good man and you won't get any attention and ugh, it, it's sickening to me because that's all I hear on the radio I don't even listen to the radio anymore I am just so disgusted with the music industry today it is nothing how it used to be like back in the day there used to be songs about dancing songs about celebrating life songs about family now it's money sex and drugs that is it and we as women we are so we try so hard to be something that we 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 need something to follow and we most women they don't have a good example in their lives so they they flock to the these celebrities and they see the celebrities always half naked and they hear what these celebrities talk about in these songs and they're like oh well you know that's the only person i have to look up to so that's what i'm going to be as well and it's so sad because the industry is corrupt the industry is corrupt and so many people look up to these celebrities and these celebrities they're singing this music and they're dressing in these provocative outfits because that's what they're, they're told to do literally that is how it works in the industry so to compare yourselves to that these people aren't really happy so happiness is on the inside so that you just really have to be careful what you allow into your system and my dad always told me you don't have to be a clown to be seen and I have harbored that ever since I was little because so many so many women are always loud and cursing and just loud like I hate when I go somewhere and I see a whole bunch of group of chicks and they're just loud like you can hear them on a the whole other side of the mall why are you so loud like be quiet why are you so why do you feel like you have to twerk everywhere you go why do you gotta upload videos of you in your underwear sitting on the sink and then when a man comments on it, you want to call them thirsty and ratchet and all this other kind of stuff. Where is your, where is your, um, what word am I looking for? I can't even think of it right now, but for you to feel like you have to be naked in the world and on social media for attention is wrong. And it's because you don't have anyone influencing you otherwise. So I'm here to tell you, you don't need to do that to get a man. If a guy wants you for just that he is not the guy for you that is not you a woman should not sleep around in my opinion I that's my opinion that's just me maybe I'm prude or whatever you, you want to call it but that's just me I just really feel like as a woman when you have sex with someone you get emotionally attached and well, maybe it's just me I don't know I'm an emotional female so I feel like sex should be emotional and you should connect with the person which means you should love this person and you shouldn't just be having sex with someone just because that's all you know every time you have sex with someone it's like you get a mental imprint and that imprint does not go away for the rest of your life anytime when you do get married down the road or whenever that is if you have slept around with everyone every time you're in bed with your husband you're gonna be thinking about what this dude did what that dude did what that dude looked like how that dude did this to you whatever that can ruin a marriage you can go into marriage with these pre these false expectations off of what someone else did years ago so I don't want to make this video too long but I just I just really wanted to start doing the women empowerment but I'm really kind of getting off topic here 
the whole point of this was influence and social media pressure and all this other kind of stuff which can go from social media to TV to radio so it all ties in together basically the moral of this this video is my intentions of making this video is for women out there that may feel less than what they're supposed to be I just want to tell you guys that you are beautiful and you are worth it and if you're dating a guy you are worth the wait if he will not wait for you he is not for you love is not disrespect love is not anger love is not pressure love is not do what I say or I'm not happy that's not what true love is and if a guy does that to you he's not for you stop feeling less of who you are stop letting other people influence who you are cut yourself off from the world and love yourself find what it is you love about yourself and embrace it and I say this out of humbleness because I know what it's like to feel down and I know what it's like to have low self-esteem I still struggle with it to this day as I make this video I'm talking to myself as well you deserve better and you are great you are worthy and I just really want you guys to know that so love yourself and anyone who does not respect you cut them off you do not need that they do not deserve you you deserve better you're better off alone than with a group of people who don't respect and honor you it is so true life is too precious and short to settle which that'll be my my video next week on settling for less um, so yeah I really hope you guys like this video if this video touched you please let me know um, please let me know if you like me to continue these videos um, I know they're gonna be kind of long because they are topical but sorry my air conditioning is on I am super hot but let me got let me know if you guys enjoy these videos and I will keep doing them but I swear I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day a wonderful week a wonderful month and until next week, you guys, I hope to see you next week, and thanks for watching.